Good morning from Tucson. I've been here about two weeks. Well, Thanksgiving and then, yeah, about two weeks. And I've done absolutely nothing. And it's felt great. Because I was getting a little frustrated, as you saw in the last video. This feels like the never ending bus build. Just want to say thank you to Justin T for uh, joining Patreon. I appreciate you very much. and I want to thank everyone for watching and of course all the 36 people on Patreon who are helping keep this channel alive. Today I have very exciting, very exciting news. Mojo Bus is swinging by. They actually arrived last night in town. I stopped by the Walmart to say hello <laughs> before they went to sleep. And uh, one thing I've learned is that I really, really enjoy working with someone else on the bus. Partly because I'm a bit experienced but partly because I like the camaraderie, I like the friendship, and I like to bounce my wacky ideas off of somebody. Um, so yeah, perhaps bus number three, bus number four, I'll do it myself. But for now, it's more fun to work with people. Also, I've kind of deviated away from the daily videos and I've tried to condense the material so that it's a little bit easier to watch and a bit easier to uh, get information from if you are building a bus of your own. Guys, look who it is, Mojo ba Bus is back. What up, Justin? And Renee's over here as well. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. Hi. <laughs> hi, YouTube. So um, they, they both graciously came by to help me out. I was like a damsel in distress. Not really, but uh, feeling a little overwhelmed and unmotivated. So it's nice to have friends come by to offer a hand. So, Today it looks like Justin is going to try and mount some of these doors. I think Renee also. So we have some of this, these cool little locking hardware mechanisms. This is like a boat style thing where it like locks in. Um, then we have some hinges. I forget where they are. Anyways, we got hinges, doors, drawers, all kinds of fun stuff. I'm going to be working on the air horn. Um, I got a new train horn from Amazon. If you guys don't know, I have an Amazon influencer store thingy, storefront. So I'll put all the things that I use in there. So if you guys have a question about what I'm using, it's the easiest way to do it. And I get a little kickback from it, so, you know, a couple percent points or whatever. But this is a 145 dB train horn. Pretty much the loudest one legally allowed. This was the old setup. This was the solenoid. It just didn't push out enough air. Walk us through what you're doing, Justin. What? How do you make this hinge? So yeah, we're putting this hinge. We're drilling these holes in it. Um, Craig has gone and made it real easy. They good, gave us good this, guy, that this Craig. little jig, um, and we just clamp it on in the right spot. I'm doing three inches from the top, three inches from the bottom. Use our clamps here. Mm -hmm. Clamp it on there. And then this is the actual. Oh, bit. so that locks in place the there, huh? So this actually comes in here. Sorry. If I can do it, just twist in there. So then, excellent the piece is then clamped in there. Yep. And you just drill the hole. Let's make a perfect hole there. Okay, awesome. And these uh, are slow, soft closing hinges that we got. And uh, so before we know it. The drawers or doors will be on. All right, this is the following day. I'm got to go back to Ace for the next, I don't know, for the fourth time today. But uh, Justin and Renee are going to take over and they are going to be putting together the drawer boxes. The drawer boxes for the cabinet. All right, sweet. So I'm going to trust you with the camera. Okay. So tell us what you guys do. <laughs> this is going to be the bottom of the drawer that's going to hold the big old. 12 volt Dometic refrigerator. Here's the update, I'm back. I got myself some, God, I had to go like four, four trips to uh, the hardware store, but I got myself some proper nuts and bolts. These are black ones. And I don't know what the difference is, I forget, like machined or something. Drilled in the side here. It's gonna go through both layers of the metal. Those are charging ports for USB. Um, I did drop this and chip it <laughs> while I was uh, 
ch checking it out, so, oh well. S happens, as they say. Anyways, I'm gonna give these guys a hand and see how to put together a drawer box. All right, he says simple. Why so? It's simple. We're doing nice, simple drawer boxes. No dovetails, none of that fancy stuff. Just three quarter. We're gonna just screw the whole thing together and glue it. It's gonna be super strong. Okay. <laughs> All right, so as you guys can see, you just have the base. The side pieces are the longer pieces. The front goes in the middle. Basically, front and back go in between these ones. Uh, it seems simple. And then we're going to edge band it. Edge band. Top. Tops. Cool. Let's get to work. Here is one of the drawers that Mojo Bus has been working on. I have an appointment to get to shortly, so I'm going to take off. But I'm going to pass the camera back over to Mojo Bus and. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna film some of the uh, drawer box making over here. Drawer box assembly here. We built these things like a brick house. It's all, we're building this all out of three quarter, and we're just gonna butt joint and screw it all together. We put some edge banding on the top edges so it'll look nice. Um, pretty much all we have to do is line everything up, make it nice and flush. And screw it together. I just flush this front edge with the edge of the hard guy there. And we just screw the butt joints. So we're gonna flip it, we're gonna screw all these edges together first, and then we're gonna screw in the bottom. So three screws on each side into this, and this puppy's not going anywhere. This is going to be a nice strong joint. So now we're going to flush up the top edge on this one. Make sure it's nice and flush. Use our table to flush the bottom. And same thing. Three screws on each side. my bit in there. Okay. 
There we go. That's how we make a nice looking drawer box out of three quarter inch plywood. The slides are going to go on the drawer front and then they'll be installed. So a lot of this stuff isn't necessarily rocket science, but you never know what you don't know, right? So um, from watching Badge last time where he tapped into the um, air system, this is where I put a T. Now the line goes all the way through here and comes to here and then it's going to go right there through that hole and that is gonna be, that's going to power the air horn. Now when I say air horn, I mean train horn, 145 dB. Now, the problem with the last air horn had nothing to do with us. This had a maximum pressure of 100. It wasn't enough air pressure to make a proper air th honk thing. A lot of this bus stuff is trail and error. Um, this is the outside table, and I couldn't figure out how I was going to latch it to the bus. And this is one of the possibilities. I don't know if that's going to work, um, but it's a 90 degree uh, latch. And then it goes into this like latch part. So that's, I don't know. So it could go like that, but the metal would go. Anyways, you know what I'm saying. All right, through the magic of Hollywood movie making, the one of the two tables is mounted. Thanks to Renee, actually. She was the assist on this one. And missing a couple screws, but I also got some loose screws, you know what I'm saying? So, I need to go to the store to get a couple more there, and a couple more here, and this is actually quite nicely resting on the rub rail. And, uh, so, I don't actually need to have a thing. I could have a thing, if you guys are confused by what I'm saying. Join the, join the crowd. You're not alone. Uh, I was going to have like a little cable for support. Now, by not having a support, it does provide a slightly cleaner look. But, I don't think anyone in their right mind would set their kid or anything heavy on this table. This is going to be the solar powered charging station. And I'll put like, Zamp and uh, Lifeline, Victron, AM Solar. Memory ran out of space. Uh, I'm back over here a few days later, and I am just tidying up the gate latches. So I have two installed. Well, one installed on this, 100%. The other one partially installed. Um, there's really not much to this. These are just the uh, 90 degree gate latches. And I'm putting them on both sides, as you can see. This one go flat, and then go through here. Let me show you the front one. And the front one, yeah, this one's nice and snug. It's right up against the bus. This one has a little space. Um, not as good as the front one, but it will work. Um, so yeah, these things just go like that, or like that, or something like that. <laughs> there we go. And of course, I, I will have to um, install a a chain. I'm going to hook the chain to this and then back around and loop through here to this with a remo removable, you know, kind of like a clasp thing. Uh, so yeah, that way I won't have to have another additional anchor point. I can just anchor it to this. The back one, on the other hand, stays 90 degrees because of the rub rail, but I also want to put some kind of chain just to be on the safe side. Um, I don't anticipate a lot of people putting stuff with weight, but just in case we do, at the AM Solar Lifeline Victron Zamp Solar Charger, Solar, solar Power Charging Station. Try and say that five times fast. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is how it's going to work. Uh, fold down, uh, put some ports in here. I think in the next video we're going to start working on some of the solar, because uh, I kind of built myself into a corner. I have to do that. I've been putting it off, uh, mostly because I feel like I feel the most comfortable with solar as far as uh, doing things by myself. And I did want to take advantage of uh, carpentry skills, which I don't have and I don't feel as comfortable with. As you saw in the previous video, I was a little frustrated, but this is several weeks later, um, <laughs> and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling back to my normal optimistic self. We all do get into slumps from time to time, and I guarantee you, 
working on a bus with minimal construction building experience, you will get a little frustrated from time to time.